Well, they try to throw for it there on third down on the opening drive of the game. They don't get it, but let's punt the ball away. Let's trust our defense. And guys, let's also trust this home field advantage and the crowd to get loud and make it real difficult on our opponent. He'll bring it back. It's great. They'll get him down at the 21-yard line. The coverage team able to stop him right there. So the Liberty Flames offense will go to work for the first time today. As we take a look at our impact players for this game, David, what do you look for to make an impact from your leaders? Your leaders not only have to lead the football team, but they got to step up and make plays on the field, keep everybody calm. These guys typically do a really good job of it. Yeah, David, and they also generally set the tone for their respective football teams. Regardless of which side of the ball they play on, the teammates look towards them to step up in big games like this. One big play, and now they've got it at the 42-yard line on first down. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. And runs like that are like body blows in a boxing match. Four, five, six-yard gains early turn into 20, 30, 40-yard gains later. They really wear down defenses, and they test their physicality. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Looking downfield, it's Salter. It's complete to the left. And he's brought down after a nice game. And I love the awareness by the wide receiver on that play because I'm not sure that route was supposed to be that deep. You got to wonder if the receiver decided maybe to adjust the route a little bit to make sure that he got the first down. And the Flames will line it up on first and ten. Let's go! It's a draw. They're strong and they're strong. Defensive tacklers, they're strong. They're such big jokers in the middle where they just lock out those offensive linemen. And running backs, listen, they don't have much of a chance. When you got that 300-plus pound guy grabbing you around the shoulder pad, you tend to go to the ground pretty quick. Oh, man, there's some big hitting going on in the trenches right now. This defense, they take a lot of pride in stopping the run. Let's keep our eye on them throughout the course of the game and see if they can contain this running attack. Now facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Here he goes, breaking the pocket. Got out of trouble, got rid of it. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. The Flames send out the punt unit. This is a point where you just got to be able to focus. And the critical down and distances in this game, like that third down right there, when it's a good throw, you got to make the catch. You got to be able to make that play. Wake Forest has it back, and here comes the offense. They hope to be able to cash in on this drive, David, after having to punt it last time. Yeah, and I think this offense needs to start it in the first play. You need to be successful and productive on that first play, and it gets you in less predictable situations. No doubt, too. Don't you just feel like there's a little bit more sense of urgency on this drive? It just feels like they've got to be able to put some points up on the board here. Yeah, it's a bit of a surge, and he's knocked down after picking up three to the 26. Facing a third down and short from the 26. Here we go. It's a draw. The ball scores free. A defense scoops it up and they're bringing it back. I'll tell you, honestly, I don't know what that player could have done to hold on to that football. That defender absolutely popped him. He knocked him into next week. There was no chance he was holding on to that ball. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. And that's a really nice play. It's impressive. When it's first down, the defense thinks you might be running the football. You still can line up. You can get some movement at the point of attack and find a little crease for your run. Back to throw. It's Salter. That pass is incomplete, and they might be fortunate. It wasn't knocked free for a fumble. It'll be third down. Now this offense tries to figure out a way to move the chains after the second down misfire. Quick completion on the out route. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. 
Really nice job there by the quarterback understanding its blitz, and not just that it's blitz, but knowing whether it's man coverage or zone coverage behind the blitz. You've still got to know where your answer is going to be based on what the defense is doing in the back end, and he add the answer to the test right there. My, oh my, 41 yards for him on the ground now. What a first quarter for this guy. He'll try to get it in with the run. And he'll be stuck. Got nothing. Line of scrimmage still at the four. How about the defender being a heat-seeking missile? He was on radar. Lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. And he was fortunate to get that one back to the line of scrimmage at the five. No gain on the play. Two runs, and this defense has been physical, giving up absolutely nothing. Palmer, what's your passing play I think you'd go to here? You no, know, I like moving the pocket at this point, Pollock, and also maybe thinking about the tight end on a crossing route. You can kind of get through the traffic, come out the other side. They'd love to make this short field payoff with a touchdown instead of settling for three, but it is third and goal. He makes a grab. They will score. Touchdown, Liberty. And what did I start for this offense? The throw game, getting working, getting the touchdown pass. This quarterback getting a little bit of confidence. This passing game getting in a rhythm. Nice start for this offense. Getting set for the point after. And the PAT makes it 7 0. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. Appalachian State is down, but they are not out of it. Not inside Kid Brewer Stadium. One of the best home field advantages in all of college football. It's a touchdown game. They're trailing by seven to East Carolina. We promise to keep you posted on what goes down in this exciting college football matchup. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. He stopped after getting a yard out to the 30. You know, I think a big part of this isn't necessarily scoring a touchdown on that play, but you're just trying to get your offensive line in the rhythm of the game. Let those big fellas get lathered up. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. He'll try to pop the draw. Gets it past the first down marker and still running. You got to feel good for this kid, too. He worked so hard this past offseason to put himself in position to be the starting running back, and he's got a lot of skill, guys. He's got speed, open field running ability. I think he's going to be a big part of the offense this season. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. Man, that D tackle is a freak athlete. Did you see him come out of his stance and beat the offensive lineman? Getting to the running back, cat like quickness. Leaves it with the back. And he doesn't find much running room. A short gain on the play. As they get set to snap it, just about to reach the end of the quarter. It'll be a draw. And after the tackle, that will bring us to the end of the first quarter. Draw down at the 49. Number 36. On to kick it away. How about these two running games so far? Dominance on the ground as we look at the first quarter stats. They are lined up and ready to go and get things started here in the second. The Demon Deacons will line up to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Punt goes out of bounds, and a really nice job as they stick them deep in their own end. They'll mark it around the 10. Liberty takes over, and the Flames offense ready to go to work. That last drive really productive. David wound up with a touchdown. They'll try to do it again. Yeah, so I don't expect this offense to change too much, Reese. They had a great drive. They got the touchdown. Everything working. I would expect them to keep pushing this ball down. And just imagine if they could put another touchdown on the board right here. They could capture so much momentum in this game with back-to-back -back TDs. 
They'll force him out of bounds after a solid pickup on the play. Well, great job there by the defense because they weren't able to get him sacked right away, but you saw the coverage in the back end. Nowhere for the quarterback to throw the football. Didn't get the sack, obviously. You don't get the negative play, but you also don't give up a big one. You're feeling pretty good about where you are right now in this drive. On third and short, they'll try to pick it up on the ground here. Tackled after picking up the first down. You know, they pride themselves on being physical at the point of attack, dominating at the line of scrimmage. Nice job there picking up the first down. And the Flames come to the line with a fresh set of downs. They're getting this guy lathered up. Found that space and picked up six out to the 33. He now has 53 yards on the ground, and he wanted to make a first impression, and he's doing that in this opening game. The give to the left side. Still on his feet at the 45. Brought down at the 47, but not before he ripped off 15. Well, the defense knew coming into this one it was going to be a physical game. Guys are going to have to be great at the point of attack and get off blocks and make tackles. They couldn't stop the offense from picking up that first down on that run play. The Flames look to keep this drive humming. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. Unloads to the wide out. Wide open downfield. And they got the defense on that one, and they get it to the 29-yard line. How many first downs is that just on this drive? We're, we're going to have to get the training staff to, to give some IVs and get some bananas, and we better stay hydrated because at this rate, the defense is going to play way too many snaps. Now on first and 10 from the 29. They'll try the run. They'll make the stop, and he gets four on the play balls at the 25. Nice run there on first down. You know this is a running back that gets better as the game goes on. So they're going to want to make sure they keep feeding him the football, let him get lathered up. Solid pickup of four on first down at second and six. Gets it past the marker. And he'll pick up the first down after a tough run there. This defense really is on their heels. They've been on the field now for a long time on this drive, and they're just getting pushed around at the point of attack up front like we saw in that last play. On first and 10, trying to strike from the 15. Good timing on the quick out. They'll get it down to the eight yard line on that throw and catch, and the defense is backed up against the wall. Well, this tight end, he's got size and he's got some athleticism, and he's very difficult to cover one on one. Defense is going to have their hands full with him today. Operating in the red zone here on second down. From the gun, the running back has it. He bullies his way all the way down to the five-yard line. Well, I know this is an offensive line that has a ton of pride, and they want to come out each and every game and really impose their will on the D-line. They got just enough push there on that run play to pick up the first. And the Flames have it in scoring position on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. He's got it down to the one-yard line right on the doorstep of Pater. If you don't tip the scales at three bills, stay on the sidelines. Big boys in the goal line D. It's the two-minute warning, and we'll see if the offense can tack a little something extra on their lead before the break. Ready. Can the defense stop them again on second and goal? Yeah. I'll try to power it in. And he's going to take it to the house. Touchdown, Flames! I think you love starting the year off with some momentum, and that's exactly what this offense is doing. They're firing on all cylinders, defense doing their job as well. This team getting out the gates to start the season in great fashion. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And the extra point makes it 14-0. They put it in the end zone with a 12-play scoring drive. And they capped it off with a one-yard plunge.
about to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the move from inside his own 20. Probably needed to pick up an extra block or two, but as it is, he'll be stopped at the 28. The Wake Forest offense returns to the field. Running out of time here in the first half, they do have a chance to make this a one possession game. And so you gotta locate your best players and get them the football on this drive. You're down in the game. There's obviously a lot of football left, David, but on this drive, in this two-minute situation, best players gotta touch the ball. And this could get into pressing mode, right? Like, you go into the half, down a couple of scores, it starts to... The pressure really, really mounts. Good opportunity to take some of that pressure off, get some momentum, energize this squad going into halftime. I tell you, this slot receiver, he really does give his quarterback a nice option. Runs really good routes. He's got nice hands. You saw it all in that last play. And now on second down for this offense. Back to throw. It's Bachmeyer. Got the back over the middle. And they knock him down, but he got past the line of the game. Well, it's a nice play design there. You're getting the running back involved in the pass game. Quarterback gives it to him early so he can go to work upfield and get the first down. Finally, this offense starting to show a little juice. They've got a first and ten. The aerial assault continues. Got his man quickly. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. That last completion sets him up on second down. He's looking to throw. Grab near the marker, it's Green. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. Well, it's a nice job by the defender there, closing the gap with the wide receiver. They're gonna complete the hitch pass, but he's able to run right up on him, get him to the ground for a minimal gain. And the Demon Deacons have it with a first and 10. Using the quick game. And he was able to get away from one tackle, but plenty of help was on the way. Decent pickup on that play. I'll say this, man. In college football, you see a lot of bad tackling. You didn't see it right there. That was an awesome job. First off, being there at the point of attack, once the tight end made the catch, there was no doubt he was going down. Touchdown, Demon Deacons! Pulled it in and just kept right on running to the Hallelujah Land. And I'll tell you what, that passing touchdown, man, that should spark this whole team. Like, the comeback is more than on now. Like, they got the touchdown. They cut into the lead. You want to get a stop and go into the half, get all the juices, all the excitement, and be like, listen, the passing game's rolling. We got this. The comeback's in full effect. Liberty takes over the flame, sending the offense back onto the field. If you like old-fashioned, grind it up, run over a football, that last touchdown drive was for you, Jesse. That was impressive, man. Great blocking up front and tough physical running by these ball carriers. And now you wonder how the defense responds. Like, are they going to get way more aggressive to try to stop the run? I got to do something to break the rhythm of that running game. And an explosive play has him on the move, and he gets it all the way to the 48-yard line. Quick timeout call by the offense after the play. Here they come, first and 10 from the 48. Used to play fake, now to throw. He's gonna fire deep. Grabs it inside the 15. Touchdown, Liberty! And they take it in for six more points. It hasn't taken very long this season to just see how scary this offense is. They wanted to be aggressive coming out to start this season, and you've seen that with the play calling on this drop. It does not take these guys with their speed very long to score. Watch out. This unit has a chance to be special. You get that touchdown right before the half, build the momentum, and the last thing you need to do is mess it up by allowing a big kickoff return. They put the brakes on him, but a good return out for the 36. Just enough time for one final play in this half. He'll come out throwing on first down. Looking deep down the right side. It's incomplete, and they tried to finish this quarter with a bang and couldn't quite connect. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Thanks, guys. What a scene there in Winston-Salem. What a fine performance we've seen.
Talk about a first half from that dude out of the backfield. He's been a total game changer. And how many top plays moments have we seen on missed tackles alone? Video game moves from one of the shiftiest players in all of college football. And with that, let's send it back to the guys at a legacy stadium. All right, Kevin, about ready to start the second half here. The Demon Deacons will kick it off to start the second half. That ball skips through the end zone. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 25-yard line. Liberty takes over, and the Flames offense ready to go to work. If it's working, why change it? And that running game was working in the first half. I imagine we'll see a lot more of it here in the third quarter. And you just know the offensive line was telling their coordinator, put this on us. Let us continue to go out there, push these guys around. We can put this game on our back and end this thing by running the ball. And this is a manhood question for this defense. Like, as a defensive lineman, and you're pounding the rock, pounding the rock, like, I gotta physically rise to this challenge. This defense has to play more inspired and more physical in the second half. Got the first down and still on his feet. He now has 110 yards on the ground, and with that run, he eclipses the 100-yard mark in this season opener. And you're gonna hear this guy's name a lot. They're gonna ride the big fella. He's such a stud. They're gonna build the offense around him. This is just game one, but you're gonna get a lot of big runs from this guy. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. A first down for the offense. On the run, it's Salter. Fires to the big fella. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. Just a quick rhythm throw there and really good use of the tight end. Yeah, good use of the big fella. I mean, go through your progressions real quick. You can't find anything. Get the easy game. Don't take a shot. And the defense is all over the quarterback, and down he goes. They'll tell you that somebody's always going to pop open, but it didn't happen in time before they got the sack. No, it did not. And you know what? I'm going to remember this. I'm going to remember zone defense. They didn't really have an answer. They weren't ready to get rid of the football. Quarterback hesitated. I got to him and got him on the ground. Might be a good call later on in the game. That pass is well off target. He got hit as he was trying to throw, and they can't convert on third down. The Flames will bring the punt team onto the field. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. And he was able to get back on top of it. He only needs a sliver of daylight. Excellent coverage that time. Didn't give him any room to set up a big return. Wake Forest has it back, and here comes the Deacon offense. Can't hold on. He had it right down the middle, and he flat dropped it. Well, this defense knew coming in, they were going to see some RPO, and they were going to see some quick game. A nice job there taking the throw away from the quarterback. Looking for space. It's Claiborne. Nice gain of six, leaving them with third and four. You see, they need more runs like that. It's just it's been so few and far between. Defensively, they've been in position. They've been winning their one-on-one -on -one battles, getting off of blocks and rallying to the ball carrier. This defense has done a nice job slowing down the run game this far. Nice job to pick up the first down, and they'll spot it at the 42. And the Demon Deacons come to the line with a new set of downs. They'll try it over the left side. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. That linebacker was a heat-seeking missile, and the heat that he sought was the ball carrier. Yeah, great job, great feel. Linebackers are making all the calls in the defense and understanding when I need to come through that gap and come through with bad intentions. Those guys are using 245 pounds of heat seeking missile. This quarterback right now is in a groove, and he's doing a nice job in pre-snap. He's reading the coverage, and he's getting an idea of where he wants to go with the football. That's why the ball's coming out of his hands so quickly, and that's why he seems like he's in a great rhythm right now. 
On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. Caught near the sideline, it's Green. I think that's an example there on the out route. Receiver just has to know where the first down marker is. You've got to stretch the depth of your route a little bit longer to make sure that once you catch it and you go out of bounds, you've already picked up the first. He wasn't able to do that, and now it sets up fourth and short. After putting three on the board, the kickoff unit ready to go. Well, that kid just showed off his hammer for a leg, 50-plus, and he did it with ease. Liberty takes over the flame, sending the offense back onto the field. They'll have another opportunity to extend this lead after punting last time, David. And it's important to put that punt behind you. It's, it's over. Let it go. Get back to what you were doing that built this lead. Yeah, and defense, obviously, they won a few downs uh, that last drive. So you got to put them on their heels here. Maybe mix up a few personnel groupings and try to show them some pictures they haven't seen. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. Looking to throw, it's Salter. Gets it out quickly. Brought down at the 47, but not before he ripped off 15. And that's why if you're the offensive coordinator, you've got to find as many ways as possible to get this guy going. Just get him the ball close to the line of scrimmage. Doesn't need to be a throw deep down the field. He's so dynamic when he has the ball in his hands. You saw it right there. And David, how demoralizing does it have to be for a defense when you know they're going to run it, everyone in the stadium knows they're going to run it, and still you cannot stop it? There is nothing more demoralizing as a defensive lineman because it just it ticks you off. It gets in your head. You, you know that guy's going to come off and smack you, and you got to do something about it. I think the defense may be time to start committing more guys to stopping that run, not worrying about the pass as much. That's about as close as you can get to that marker, and it will be second and just a few breaths away from the first down. Well, and you're seeing the balance this offense has and how they can create explosive plays in a variety of ways. We just saw one come in the run game, and now you see one coming in the passing game. I'll tell you, they've got this defense on their heels. Let's go! They'll give it to the back. Nice move to keep running. They make the stop, but this running game moves the chains as they get the first down. Another good run. Man, he has been picking up yards in bunches today. Jesse, showing off all the skills. And he's showing no signs of slowing down, David. This guy just gets better as the game goes on. He is a beast. The offense down to the 22 on first and 10. He wants to throw. Got him downfield. He was smelling that end zone, but they get him down at the four after the big pass play. How about the mix of play calls on this drive? Three runs, three passes, and now they're in business. Man, just keeping the defense completely off balance. When you think it's a run, it's a pass. When you think it's a pass, it's a run. Nice job by this offense going right down the field in six plays and now set up the first and goal. Looking for just one more yard. It's second and goal. Tries again to get it in. Just hammer it with this running back again, and he noses his way into the end zone. When the running back gets his second rushing touchdown of the game, you want to continue to feed this guy. You can tell he's got a nose for the end zone, knows how to get in there, knows how to make things happen. The kick is up and good, and put one more on the lead. 76 yards on the drive for the touchdown, and they capped it off with a one-yard punch. Takes it inside his own 20. Chance for great field position here. Finally stopped after a solid return out to the 32. Wake Forest has it back, and here comes the offense. You want to talk about having a weapon to bail out a drive? David, that's why kickers are so important after that long field goal. And listen, important is a relative term. We need to make longer passes and get better gains so we don't have to kick long field goals, Palmer, again on offense. And they've got the weapons to do that, David. they just got to be able to dial those plays up. Guys have to be able to make them one-on-one -on -one to make life easier on this kicker, who is so important to this team. Now they'll line it up from the 44 on first and 10. Caught over the middle, it's Fields. 
They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there. Still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. That completion leaves us with second and medium. The play action fake. And he was drilled just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. And finally, the defense is able to get some pressure on this quarterback. They had been trying all game long different ways to affect him. Weren't able to get there. But on that play, because of the pressure, it affected his accuracy. And that's why the ball falls out. Yeah, I like the aggressiveness on third and short. Trying to throw the football. Take advantage of a look that they got. They weren't successful. And now it's fourth and short territory. Who knows what they're going to do. And that is textbook instructional video. Out of bounds right around the goal line. Just enough time for one more snap before the end of the quarter. To the ground with the back. And he was able to pick up a few yards on the ground, and the clock has run out here in the third. And that is the final play of the quarter, and guys, Liberty has the lead here. This has been utter domination through three quarters, and the stats will back that up. Just about ready to go in the fourth, and we'll see if any drama can be mustered. We'll get this quarter going with a second down play. Gives it to the back on the draw. Steam rolls his way ahead. That run epitomizes a veteran, savvy senior who knows how to find space. It's a point in the game, I think, as a coaching staff, where you really challenge your offensive line to go win the football game, right? We've got to lead late. We're going to run the football. And the defense and everybody in the stadium knows that's what's going to happen. Can we run the ball down their throats and impose our will? That's what this offense right now is trying to do. It's just so nice to know you can start off on first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Bang. Running back searching for a hole. Followed that blocking and got five out to the 26. I think you run that play on second down knowing it's going to make third down easy. You're not trying to hit a home run. You don't need the big play right now. Now you know third down, everything's on the table, everything's available, high success rate. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Well, the defense finally able to make a play, getting a tackle for loss. They haven't had many of those today because this running back really has answered the bell. They knew coming in they were going to have to give him the football, four-speed it to him, and let him go to work. He's done that. Well over 100 yards rushing in this game, and the defense just has not had the answers consistently for him. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. The Wake Forest offense returns to the field. After a punt on their last possession, they are set up in plus territory this time. And honestly, it wouldn't have mattered if they scored a touchdown their last possession. You've got to be able to turn the page and see this as a brand new opportunity to go get points. Yeah, and your defense has set you up for the position to get points right away. Now, let's get this off. And that pass intercepted. Going the other way, and he's got room. He's at the 30. And a big return after the INT sets up the offense for this possession. And as a defensive lineman late in the game, man, when you know it's passed, you're pinning your ears back, trying to get to the quarterback. And DBs are trying to do this. Pad them stats, get the INT. Nice job by this D. Liberty takes over, and the Flames offense ready to go to work. They had to punt it away on their last possession, but, man, what great field position this time. I mean, this is awesome. Like, last possession didn't go great. Now you're set up in an opportunity to get some points, start thinking about what plays I like, Jesse, as I cross the 50. There are a lot of offensive coordinators out there, David, and in this position, they like to take a shot right away and try and capitalize on this field position. The give and tick, 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 tick. They get him on the ground at the three-yard line, but this defense is taking some punches. Draws are such a smart way to 
take advantage of fast defensive linemen that want to get upfield and get after the quarterback. It keeps them honest, makes them realize they got to play the run too. Great play call. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. They'll try to run for it. They get him stopped at the two, but it'll be first and goal. I love when players understand situations and they understand where the first down marker is and they understand where I got to get to. A lot of people you'll see run north-south and try to bounce out wide and make big plays. Sometimes it's not about making big plays. Sometimes it's about getting that first down to make sure I get an extra set of downs instead of trying to make those big touchdown runs. We've reached the two-minute warning and this offense is that much closer to salting away a victory. Looking for just one more yard. It's second and goal. Touchdown, Flames! And the beatdown has ensued. And I just love what I'm seeing from this team. Like, going on the road, game one, where you're still, still figuring out who you are and what you do well. Another scoring drive by this offense. Looks like they're going to get the dub in a hostile environment to start the season. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. And it's caught from inside the 20, and here he comes. Maybe if he could have eluded just one or two more guys, it would have been a big return, but they'll mark it at the third. Wake Forest has it back, and here comes the Deacon offense. It has been a rather forgettable day that's finally coming to a close, David. Yeah, it's been an awful day. I mean, just not, not functioning well on offense. Defense giving up a lot of points. This is a day, Palmer, they'll like to forget. Yeah, you're going to find out a lot about their character right now. Obviously, not what they hoped this would be, and that's demoralizing for a lot of these kids that have worked really hard in practice all week. But at this point here, you're just trying to prove to your coaching staff that you're not going to quit. Just had to get rid of that one. Good job to fight another play. And this defense has put a game together. Like, it is hard to put all the facets of defense together. Run defense, pass defense, they've been so good, man. Dialed in, you could tell. They were ready, they were fast, they were physical. They dominated this football game. He wants a big play here late. Got his man! And they're getting it rolling with that play to the 42-yard line. The offense gets a quick timeout at this point. Every second is precious. The Demon Deacons will snap it on first and ten. Back to the air one more time. He makes a catch. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. They're running the curl route against zone coverage. The quarterback knows that's going to be a tight window. He's got to rifle that ball into his wide receiver. He does just that, and as a result, they pick up the first down. Now on first down from the 28. Nice defensive play to get a hand in there and knock it away. And this is just one of those days, man, where everything has gone wrong, right? Like, they just haven't been in a rhythm. They haven't, they haven't got it going and never built the momentum. This is, this is one of those days that you learn from, you try to grow from. A lot of things that we're going to show in the film room that people aren't going to like, but hopefully you can learn. There's a live football. And just like they drew it up, right? Put it on the ground, get it, get the first down. They immediately call timeout, trying to preserve every second they can to try to rally here late. Inside the 15, first and 10 from the 14. Get set, get set. They've marched to the red zone, and here they go. He's got it on the run. That completion will take it inside the four, and the offense is threatening. And I know this football game is over, but we got to keep fighting. We got to keep finding something, some kind of rhythm in this offense, something we can hit. Touchdown, wait! And they'll put that scoreboard operator to work and put six on the board. And a nice touchdown, continuing to fight, continuing to play. This one, it's pretty much over. Down multiple possessions this late in the football game. It would take a miracle, but nice job by this offense, continuing to fight, push the ball down the field, make plays. And the kick is good, but there's a penalty flag, and I think it's going to be roughing the kicker. Personal foul. Roughing the roughing kicker. The kicker. <laughs> Defense. Defense. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. The kickoff Number team on the field, and he ought to just boom this thing through the end zone with that extra 15 yards on the penalty. Not going to give him a chance to make a play as they boot that thing through the end zone. 
Liberty takes over the Flames, sending the offense back onto the field. Firmly in control of this game. We'll see if they just try to run out the clock and get out with a victory. Everybody on offense here should feel really good about their performance today, too, Dave. They had a really good game plan coming into this one. They went out and they executed at a very high level. Yeah, lights out, and this game's over. I'm interested to see the philosophy now. Do we keep chucking the bill and keep trying to score points? Because it's the defense's responsibility to stop them, or do they just run this clock and say, all right, we did enough today. We kicked them in the face. These are the types of plays where offenses impose their will. Third and short from the 45. They make the stop, and the clock strikes zero, and that will do it for this one. The old coaching cliche go 1-0 every week, and for the first week, they get it done. That great start to the season. That's what you want. You want to come out, find a way to win. Was it perfect? Absolutely not. You're going to find things to work out throughout the season, but 1-0, that's where you want it to be. And I think if you're the coaching staff of this winning team, you've got to like